Hello witches and wiccans out there in the wonderful world of witchcraft. Today I'm going to do my first ever YouTube oracle reading. And of course it's Halloween, it's Samhain, in about two days time I thought I would do my little reading. So I've pre-shuffled the cards and I have got a few cards that just jumped out of the pack. And so they're the cards I'm going to read for you today. Um, so let's get into it. So the first card is Lady de los Nuertos, Lady de los Nuertos, uh, and she's the Lady of the Dead. Now she um, is, with this modern um, interpretation of her, is based on a woman called Caterina, and she had everything that she wanted. She was rich, she was famous, she had everything that she wanted, but when she died, it all went. You know, you can't take the riches and you can't take the everything with you. You need to accept that death is a natural process. Don't be fear of death. I'm petrified of death. So, you know, like, um, don't be fear of death. It's a natural process. Um, let go of anything that doesn't serve you. Especially with, with this time of Halloween. It's kind of like a happy time. Celebrations, getting dressed up, all that sort of fun. Pumpkin pies, pumpkin carving. Happy, happy, happy. You know, so let go of everything that doesn't serve you. And um, don't concentrate too much on material things. Things like money or shoes. I don't know. <laughs> it's, I don't know. Whatever you, you, you material things that you're like, oh, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. Like holding on to those. Like, no, don't, don't worry about things like that. It's like, don't, don't worry about it. I don't concentrate on too many material things because when you die, it goes. You know, it's not no point worrying about things. Yes, be careful with your money. Yes, be careful with what you're doing. But don't spend too much time worrying about it. Let go of all energies that don't serve you. Let go of any energies that don't serve you. Acceptance and equality is the answer. Acceptance and equality. Accept yourself. Accept yourself that you are worth it. Don't concentrate on what anyone else is doing. Don't concentrate on material things. Accept yourself, self-worth. And I see here with the roses there, it's also about love. And so this might be about love, acceptance in love and equality in love. Let go of any energies in love that don't serve you. Um, yeah, so that's Lady de Muertos. Uh, next card is the Skull of Stars. This is about infinite possibilities. Again, it's kind of the idea that you are worth it. Accept it in yourself. You, there's infinite possibilities. Don't think too smallly. Like, like some of you out there might be thinking too small, being too much in your head. No. It's not all small, small, small. It's big wide the big wide divine universe out there i feel like the universe is divine and there's like a huge wonderful divine universe and in some of my readings that i do um the last reading i did for myself i had like 10 major arcana cards so that was like divine the universe has you so the universe is out there um it has you, it protects you, it kind of guides you through your life and you're protected by guardian angels or spirit guides. I believe more in spirit guides than guardian angels, but spirit guides, they're there for you. My spirit guides here, she talks to me all the time. She gives me guidance, she guides me through life. So don't think it's too small because there is a wider universe out there, and especially at Samhain when the, the universe, the um, our universe and the veil between the spirit world comes out. The spirit world's out there. There's a wide amount. There's, there's so much more than just you in this universe. And uh, the universe is so much more divine, so much more wider and so much more fantastic than just your little life. And once you explore that and go into your higher self and your higher thinking, you'll realise that all this down here, all this, all this, this, this negativity, all this stress, all this work, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. Because there is something greater, something better than that. Especially you think about past lives, that you've had so many lives. This life is so insignificant compared to all the other lives. You know, like, you have this life, you go into the spirit world, you might spend a bit of time there and reflect, and then you go into another life. It's like, there's such a bigger world out there. Um, and explore your imagination and boundaries. You, what, if you dream something, it is possible, you know. Don't be like, think, oh, I can't do that. Yes, you can do that. You can do that. 
you have infinite possibilities here. If you can dream it, you can do it. You can do it. Think bigger. Think more broadly. Live life how you want to live it. Don't let other people um, drag you down. And I was reading this book as well, maybe as some energies about uh, parents and your parents' views of things. Don't let your parents guide you. Don't let your parents um, drag you down or tell you what to do. Um, if you're above 18, that is. Um, don't let the, their views ch change your life and develop your life. Go into your inner truth. Go into you and what you want and what you think. And you go out and you get it. You go out and get it. Fantastic energy there. Now we move on to the cauldron, stirring things. Um, synergy and healing. So out there, there might be someone there. Some beautiful healing energy here. We have the pentagram in the picture there. Um, so it's protection, healing energy. Um putting lots of things together to make this beautiful wonderful beautiful being so like healing as we said we kind of said about this reading is kind of coming across uh, maybe someone's not feeling their self-worth maybe someone's not having self-love so there is some healing here and possibly with the roses maybe that was love so maybe some healing in love needs to come forward here um stirring of the cauldron um Maybe someone's going round in a continuous cycle here. Um, maybe come on, some, maybe, maybe someone, maybe someone's stirring the pot. Maybe there's someone in your life who's stirring. There's a stirrer in there who's influencing you. As we said in the you know, the other reading of the the skulls, there might be someone there influencing your thoughts, influencing your mind, and someone stirring the pot, stirring things, getting more agitated. But you have the protection here. As I said before about the Lady de Muertos, that there is this divine energy here, this divine protection, and you're protected um, by that. So that's the cauldron. And then we have ancestors. What a, what a beautiful card to come up. Um, for Samhain because Samhain is very much about your ancestors and the spirit world and connecting with your ancestors and honouring your ancestors and so we have love and legacy of our DNA all oh, your blessed loved ones your loved ones are out there so today uh, so when Samhain comes along your loved ones are going to be around you your loved ones are going to be there for you um, and they are there for you um, love is in your DNA Th these people are in your DNA they're in your thoughts um, and there's a beautiful energy there of you're all connected to the earth as well with the tree here, the tree energy here. You're connected to the tree. Your roots are going down. The roots of your life. Um, beautiful energy there. The legacy of your DNA and the love of your ancestors. Yes, honour your ancestors this hour and honour your ancestors. Light some black candles or light some candles for them, for them to honour them and let them come in. Here we go. We've got strength card, the skeleton. Your body is your strength. Um, and um, I kind of feel like everyone has a soul inside them. Um, but every soul needs a vessel. And so this is your strength, your skeleton. Your skeleton is your strength. It holds up your body. It gives you the energy to move forward and go forward in your life. So I feel maybe with this reading about someone not feeling self-worth or something that you need the strength there. You have the strength within you. Everyone has the strength within them to do anything, to take on the world. If you want that new job, you go get it. If you want that love, you go get it. Um, you have the strength within you. Don't feel like you're weak. Don't feel like you're, you're re repressed or anything. You are strong you can do whatever you want you can take on the world you can take on the world also with this card you're loved your family is here your family is here to protect you and also you're protected by the divine you're protected by the universe here you're protected by the universe um and um you have the strength within you you got support from your family you have the strength within you to take on the world you can do it you can do whatever you want to do We've got so many cards. Um, next one's the graveyard. Um, unnecessary fear. Yeah, letting go of what doesn't serve you. It is very important. I was in a very state of deep depression. 
because of a relationship. And so, yeah, deep depression. But then I learned that energy doesn't serve. I got stressed at work, constantly worrying and stressing at work, and it was dragging me down and making me so ill. But then I learned, no, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Just let things go. That energy doesn't serve. Just constantly say to yourself, this energy doesn't serve. And let go of unnecessary fears. You know, with the Lady Damwatos, let go of the fear of death. Let go of the fear of being rejected. Let go of the fear. Just let go of the fear. Look, we have the, the divine up here again. This, this planet or this moon or the sun, the kind of the, like the universe is the divine here. Um, let go of fear of death, I think, is another thing here, um, a theme here. But yeah, let go of any fear. Let go of any energy that doesn't serve you. And then here we have um, midnight, the most magical hour of them all, the witching hour. Um, and just looking at the time and the clock um, and there's very, very other clocks as well. Um, it's energies of time. 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 It takes time. It takes time to develop these things and to... Um, you know, working on yourself and developing yourself. It takes time to do all these things. Um, and also divine timing. It's another thing. Like, if this is about love, possibly, um, about letting go of fear of love, you know, you're supported, you've got that family there. Um, divine timing, possibly. Um, there, sometimes relationships don't come together because there needs to be a, a perfect time where you two can come back together. So it might be about divine timing here. And you have time. Don't worry about... Um, I'm thinking about this thing about death again, this fear of death. Don't worry. You have time. You have time. Like, your life is not wasting away. You still have time. Um, why there's life, there's hope. Um, sorry, my cat's gone some, doing something. And um, while there's life, there's hope. There is still time. There is still time to do everything. If you're stressed at work, there is still time. Relax, chill. Let go of energies that don't serve. Chill, chill, chill. There is time. Um, there is time. And I'm seeing also like divine time. She's doing like this. Divine time. Timing. So that's that's midnight. Um, and the last card we've got is the apple card. Gorgeous apple. And that goes with the season as well. The apples. Um, beautiful kind of apple flowers there. So that's kind of apple blossom, which is also to do with love. And then we've got the heart there, which is about love. So maybe this this reading is also about love. I think we've got lots of mixed energies here. We've got the like the risk, the fear of death. We have kind of the parents influencing kind of reading and then we had like a love reading i felt that was coming through as well so risk and reward if you take the risk you get the reward um so risk in love take the risk you get the reward if you don't ask you don't receive um so possibly take the risk um and also we've kind of got a loved one up here looking down in spirit um so love, you have, it's like the ancestors card, the, your ancestors, your, 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 your loved ones in spirit are watching down at you and they're, they're watching you and they are, they are there for you. They are there for you. So risk and reward, they are there for you. They're watching down on you and they're bringing you love and happiness. Um, but yeah, take the risk and get the reward. So that's beautiful energies there. That's a lovely reading um, for you all. Um, People are in spirit and they are watching down of you and they are, um, they watch there. If you want to connect to the people in spirit, you can see a medium, um, a spiritual medium like Derek Akora, um, or you can ask um, psychics. Um, I use psychic text, so if you want to get a reading from them, they're really good. And some of them are spiritual mediums if you want to connect to a loved one at this time, or connect to your spirit guide. Connect your spirit guide because your spirit guide will tell you all about the world of spirit. And it's absolutely fantastic. So that's my little reading. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please comment below to see what you thought, if it resonated with you. Um, comment down below uh, and see if I got anything right because that would be absolutely fantastic. Um, 
and I will see you soon. Thank you and goodbye.